Is Meghan Markle pregnant? While the royal family hasn't announced anything, tabloids are claiming the Duchess of Sussex is pregnant. It looks like tabloids are more eager to hear that Meghan Markle is pregnant than the royal family could ever be. Ever since the royal couple tied the knot in May this year, several magazines have claimed that the Duchess of Sussex could be pregnant. While rumors have been doing the rounds that the former Suits actress might be pregnant with twins, a new false speculation is going about claiming that Prince Harry's wife is pregnant with a baby boy. According to Women's Day Australia, the royal couple is preparing to welcome a prince. The outlet claims that it Prince Charles has confirmed the news. The outlet writes that speculations about Markle's pregnancy when they decided to take a month off from royal duties. It then alleges that Prince Charles has all but confirmed the happy news and revealed the most exciting part of all it's a boy. Carrying two little bears dressed in blue on a recent trip to Devon thought to be a gift for Harry and Meghan after they shared their exciting news Charles couldn't hide his delight, the publication writes. Apparently this was the surest sign yet the palace is about to welcome another little prince into the fold. The tabloid adds, if Meghan is pregnant, it will explain her and Harry's decision to retreat to the Cotswolds for the coming weeks, to let the news sink in and allow Meghan to rest as she battles with morning sickness. Everyone at the palace is hoping that if Meghan is indeed suffering from morning sickness, she'll be feeling a lot better once she's in her second trimester which will be when she's traveling down under, a source claims. However, USA Express debunks their claims and pointed out that the retreat the publication is talking about is actually a part of their summer break in Oxfordshire. The Kensington Palace's Twitter account recently revealed that the couple is scheduled to attend a special performance of Hamilton on August 29th. They will also be attending a slew of events on September 4th and September 6th. The outlet also fails to acknowledge that the couple is scheduled to visit Zika-infected Tonga and Fiji. The two places have been listed on CDC's maps of areas pregnant women shouldn't visit as they could contract the virus. As for the teddies held by Charles, the royal family member has three grandchildren so it is possible that he bought the stuffed bears for them. Meghan Markle has been turning to her friends and new family for advice on how to better her chances of conceiving. Here's what Kate Middleton told her to do. Meghan Markle has been welcoming advice about getting pregnant with Prince Harry. Not only has she been listening to her friends in Toronto about activities that help aid with conception, but even her sister-in-law Kate Middleton has been offering up some tips. Meghan has been getting baby-making tips from all her friends with kids, including Duchess Kate, a friend of the Duchess of Sussex tells USA Express. Apparently Kate told her to drink more tea. That was her big piece of advice. That won't be too hard for the suits alum since she's embraced all the British traditions and has started drinking tea at tea time. But since Meghan's been getting her tea on pretty regularly already, she's not really sure if it will make any sort of difference in helping her get pregnant, the insider says, adding that she's very graciously following Kate's advice anyways. Meghan's Canada-based pals have also been putting in their two cents. Her friends in Toronto are more holistic-minded so they've offered tips like practicing more yin-style yoga and doing a nightly meditation, the source explains. Megan's not obsessing about getting pregnant but she's very open to everyone's ideas. She's a naturally curious person so she loves learning what worked for her friends when it comes to their fertility. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are keeping fans waiting for a royal baby announcement, but their upcoming tour could mean the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will wait a little longer to start a family. Bookies slashed the outs on Harry and Meghan's first child being born next year to 1-4 from 1-3 last week. But with Meghan Markle visiting Zika-infected Tonga and Fiji as part of her first official overseas tour with Harry in October it is unlikely the Duchess will be planning to get pregnant. And this is because health officials have advised women visiting areas plagued by the highly infectious virus to wait at least six months before trying to conceive. This means the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's visit to Australia, 
New Zealand and the Pacific Islands of Fiji and Tonga will mean they could have to wait until almost a year into their marriage before attempting to start a family. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, confirms Ickle has been reported in Tonga. It added the only real danger was to those who are pregnant. The CDC stated, Zika virus has been reported in Tonga. Public health officials have reported that mosquitoes in Tonga are infected with Zika and spreading it to people. Many people infected with Zika virus do not get sick or only have mild symptoms. However, infection during pregnancy can cause severe birth defects. Because there is no vaccine or medicine for Zika, travelers should take steps to prevent getting Zika during travel. They should also take steps to prevent spreading it when they return home. Meanwhile, the International Association for Medical Assistance for Travelers declared Fiji has presented evidence of ongoing Zika virus transmission. It said, there is evidence of ongoing Zika virus transmission in Fiji. Take meticulous anti-mosquito bite measures during the daytime. Pregnant travelers should postpone travel to this country. The royal couple's whirlwind tour will see Meghan and Prince Harry seek to increase their engagement with Commonwealth nations, after the prince took on the role of Commonwealth Youth Ambassador in April. The tour will focus on the recovery and rehabilitation of servicemen and women through Prince Harry's 2018 Invitus Games in Sydney. Kensington Palace said, the program across these four Commonwealth countries will focus on youth leadership, environmental and conservation efforts including the dedication of several new Queen's Commonwealth canopy projects and the recovery and rehabilitation of servicemen and women through the Invitus Games Sydney 2018. The 16-day visit will take place between Tuesday, October 16 and Wednesday, October 31. Meghan and Harry have shown they are naturals with children on recent visits across the UK, as they are repeatedly pictured laughing and joking with their young royal fans. Royal baby traditions are not widely known to the public, with many strange and age-old practices still existing. Despite being a modern royal, these traditions will have to be followed by Meghan Markle if and when she becomes pregnant. Old and often outdated traditions are part of being a member of the royal family, with royal baby traditions being no exception. They are something Meghan Markle will have to follow in, or if, she falls pregnant, being a high-ranking royal. Despite being the symbol of a more modern royal family, it is no doubt the Duchess will have to follow the same traditions as Kate Middleton. Princess Diana and the Queen herself. One thing that the royal family isn't allowed to do is announce the sex of their baby ahead of the birth. It is royal tradition to keep the gender private, with Prince William and Kate Middleton even deciding to keep the sex of George and Charlotte a secret from themselves. When it comes to the delivery room, royal births used to take place behind palace walls, but now happen at the Linda Wing of St. Mary's Hospital in London. During the birth, lots of midwives and doctors are around, with the whopping team of 18 involved in the birth of Princess Charlotte in 2015. One person that usually wasn't involved in the birth was the father, a tradition long upheld until recent years. Prince Philip was not present at the birth of any of his four children, but Prince Charles and Prince William bucked the trend by being in the delivery room for the birth of their kids. Royal births also used to require a witness, with the Home Secretary usually present for all royal births to verify the event. However, this was one tradition the Queen wanted to do away with, and it hasn't been enforced since 1948. After the birth, royal babies are wrapped in special blankets, a tradition that goes back more than 100 years. The fine woolen Kneaded blankets are produced in Nottingham by G. H. Dothert and Son, who made the blankets for the Cambridge children and William himself. One tradition that is still in place is that the Queen must be notified first, knowing all the details of the royal baby before any information goes public. Something the child of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry also won't have is a surname, taking on the surname of Sussex, just like William and Kate's children. They will, however, 
have three of four first names, a royal tradition that is still upheld. Most recent royal births include Meghan and Harry's nieces and nephews George Alexander Lois, Charlotte Elizabeth Diana and Louis Arthur Charles. With so many royal traditions to follow, there is one American pregnancy tradition that Meghan Markle will not be able to follow now she's the Duchess of Sussex having a baby shower. Baby showers are a way to celebrate the expected or delivered birth of a child by showering the mother with gifts. However, baby showers are reported to be frowned upon and not celebrated in the royal family as they could appear to be tasteless. <laughs>